Hello Aries and welcome to your reading. So this will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. If you guys are dealing with an Aries and you're watching, then cross watcher. This message might actually make more sense to you. Also, these are timeless readings. So let's jump on into your reading, Aries. All right, there it is. First card, what do we got? The Hermit, okay. Are you coming out of the darkness? Finding your way? Is this singlehood? Let's get some, let's get some clarifiers. I also kind of, you know what I'm really feeling from that? Like that's just general meanings of the hermit. Be careful who you're opening up to. I don't know. There's a little, I don't want to quite say it's manipulative, but it feels a little bit mischievous. Meaning that maybe somebody likes to stir the pot or maybe they just can't even keep a secret. I think that there's a little bit more conscious energy in here though, but it could be right. And I'm just unintentionally, unconsciously, um, oh, I went and spread this news and this gossip and oh, I probably should have kept my mouth shut But I think that this person I think that they like to stir the pot just I don't know I, I don't think that's you Aries. I just want you to be careful. Yeah, we've even got the moon there I don't know this card just makes me feel like be careful who I'm telling my secrets to at the moment Especially if I don't want the whole world to know right now. I might need to zip it for a little bit Let's see what else we got, Aries. Okay, wow, okay. We've got the Fool, a whole bunch came out. Fool and the Star, dang, we already got three Hermits. Freaking the Chariot, how do we have, I'm sorry, we've already got, did I say three Hermits? <laughs> we've already got three Majors, and then the Chariot, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. God, King of Swords. Four out of seven of the cards are Majors, wow. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Okay, the Fool, the Star, and the Chariot kind of tells me where you've been and where you're at. And you're, you're definitely open. It's almost like I'm wearing my heart on my sleeve. Um, maybe we're very trusting, but again, sometimes too trusting can come back to kind of backfire. And that's why maybe we have to um, be careful, right, um, with what's going on or just telling people. Because it's not quite deceit, but... I think you just like give everybody the benefit of the doubt, which is completely fine. It's just this one person, like I wish I knew who it was. I wanted to single them out because that's what it feels like. Okay. Um, now going on, King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Who's the one that's been through this devastation? Let me see what this is. I mean, somebody's going through it here. But it also feels like what they've been through. Okay. Um, it's definitely something from the past. <laughs> Can't get any clearer than that. It's past energy. There, this other energy is like completely taking over your reading. So you've got some entanglement, some enmeshment with somebody. Um, just don't be the shadow um, when you guys are hanging out. Like you taking the back seat. I don't want you to be like a... I don't want you to take a back seat to your own life, right? Because you need to be the star of your own show. Oh, there's the world. Okay, that might be ending, but let's see. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Um, I don't, I want you to be the star of your own show and I don't want somebody to outshine you where then you're just standing in the background, right? I'm just, a, I'm just a, um, um, what's it called and you're not a main character? <laughs> know this I don't want you to let's just go with that back seat right if it's your car and it's your journey and you should be driving it like why aren't you at the wheel you're like taking a back seat to somebody else and this is your life um yeah it's gonna bother me if you're not a main character you're a what is that called <laughs> I swear to God, I get in readings and I start channeling and I forget like basic stuff sometimes. And I'm like, oh, and they get out and I'm like, oh, it was that song. It was that quote. It was that meaning. It was, it was that. Well, that's what I was trying to say. And I'm like, I don't know what happens when I start doing cards. It like sets aside my energy. So then my brain patterns are like not, I don't know. Anyways, I digress. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. 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 Three of swords. Yeah. The hero fent. Wow. A few cards. Let me set this down. Knight of pentacles. The moon, knight of swords, wow, two knights, nine of swords. Okay, this doesn't have to be total destruction, 
Wow. Somebody's got some anger. I don't know if that's unspoken. Like, okay. I don't know if this is you or them because, man, total enmeshment. I don't know who's who anymore in this reading. You're definitely dealing with something. It's a karmic partner, right? Um, what I want to say here, there's a lot of anxiety. I don't know if you're feeling the anxiety, but what it could be is if you are taking that back seat, right? It could be building up some resentments. And so I, I'm feeling a little anxious and flustered around them. Um, something's not a little bit fair to you. Maybe how they're treating you. Because I don't know who's going through all this. I mean, nine of swords. Wow. Ten of swords. Holy freaking Moses. Three of swords. I mean, we've got, we also got king of swords. We've got the moon, knight of swords. I mean, there's a bunch of energy here, but like, these are just sticking out as grief stricken. A little fear based. Ooh, somebody could be trying to control you. But it's not this huge manipulative energy. Just be careful, whoever this person is, put some shields up, to be honest. Put some energetic, vibrational stuff up. Um, you're soaking up too much into their energy. Yeah, like even un if it's unconsciously, you are becoming the... I don't know. It's, I keep trying to think of that word. It's like really distracting me. If you were in a play or a movie and you weren't a main character, you would be. Somebody tell me, drop it in the comments. But I can't think of that. But you know what I just did think of? Um, like Matrix lingo. What is it called? A non, an NF. Okay, I need to give up because I'm trying to. Non fictional character? No. What's in the Matrix, the people that aren't real? I'm telling you, as second I stop, I will figure this out. Okay, I am totally getting off topic of your reading. I am so sorry, Aries. But here's what's going on. You are, there's a little unbiased energy too. You're, are you holding space for them? Are you helping them through something? What is this? Let's get some more cards because there's a lot going on here. Seven of Swords again. Okay, you know what? I know there's a lot out in Queen of Cups, but I will highlight this because with all the devastation and destruction going on, they all come out in the Swords energy, so it could be dealing with an air sign. Doesn't have to be, have to be, but it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is the one that holds your heart. It's also the one that's got the key to your heart. And actually, what I'd like to tell you is I want you to have the own key to your heart because I think what happened is I think you gave them the key to your heart. They played with it a little bit, right? Whether it's purposely or not, and it's like, oh, I really have to watch my words around you. Get rid of not spilling my business and protect your energy. Seriously, at least put up some white light protection. Yeah, this is a lover. The lover's at the bottom of the deck. I can't even. Um, because it's not like quite huge narcissism control manipulation. There, it's, it's kind of mimicking it. Or I don't know, maybe they're mimicking you or like, I don't know. I don't think they're making fun of you. It's just, there's something going on here and you're not the star. You should be the star of your own show. Literally, I forgot the star card was out and that's the healing card. However, you need to be your own guiding light and somebody else is the one take my hand, let me lead you. And you're like playing follow the leader with them. And so, I don't know. To be very honest, you're so, and I know I already said this, entangled with their energy, but what I'm also seeing outside of this is because you're so much in their energy, it's almost taking you away from like, you're missing opportunities. And it might even be with business because you're all in this relationship. I don't know, maybe only one or two of you resonate with that, but I had to put that out there. Um, Maybe it wasn't NF, maybe it was PC. Jeez, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure it out. Okay, let's get final messages for you, Aries, because I'm, you know what? And I am the empathic channeler, so as I'm trying to figure this all out, you may be trying to figure out your path and what to do next. How do I get out? How do I put myself first? What do I do? This isn't for me, like I need some help, or like whatever it is, you might be trying to figure something out because I never try to figure something out this much. Like normally I'm like, oh, what's that saying? I'm really bad at quotes and then I'm like, I let it go. But I'm like obsessed with like trying to figure this out and, and, and find some solution. That might be your energy, um, especially because, yeah, I probably won't be feeling this when we get out. But let's look at final messages, final thoughts. Oh, final outcome. So many cards. The Devil, Ace of Cups. What, why is there a renewal of faith with this? 
This is all you. This is on your side. We've also got the death. That's good. Kind of letting go, though. Ugh, you get to an acceptance point. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, there's the King of Wands. I want to make peace. It's like a peace treaty. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Especially maybe, let's say you're like um, parents. Maybe you're just co-parenting. We're trying to coexist. I'm no, I don't know. It's something like that. Again, the lovers, of course. I drop like, I don't know, like six cards, something like that. And of course, the lovers comes back out. Page of Wands. Uh, the bitterness is slowly turning the smiles. That's good. We've got the Hanged Man. Also saying it's a little bit of a process. Ten of Wands. You're letting go. Yeah, exactly. Because that's what the death was saying. You're letting go. Somebody's releasing control. I believe that's you. I think you're just more focusing on love than all these burdens. Because there's the Queen of Wands and there's the Magician. And you're completely taking control back of your life again. Why do I feel like a very fill philosophical viewpoint from the magician I don't know if I would ever read it like that I don't know maybe you're um, debating things maybe you're getting philosophical in your conversations maybe you're looking into stuff that are like that I don't know what that means but it's like the last thing I'm picking up because I want to get it uh, at least drop that out but what I think is Aries for some time you couldn't find yourself and you've now are beginning to find yourself um, and maybe even outside of this relationship and you're doing what makes you happy that's more the outcome with this because even as I lean into this you weren't there in the beginning of this I, I don't know you make peace you get to an acceptance point and you move forward It's not even no looking back it's just like I've accepted it is and I'm just moving on which kind of frees you from the chains of this other person which I think is exactly what you need to be honest and oh yeah I forgot the world card came out closing up that huge karmic cycle there right okay Aries so we're gonna wrap up your reading right there thank you guys so much for watching and if you got anything out of this video do me a favor with that thumbs up button so I know you got something that resonated if you guys haven't even subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and there's a bell too I want you to hit the bell and turn on all notifications because I do daily videos and I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages that next message just might be the message that you need to hear today all right my cats over here somebody go spin some come here all right Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, be blessed.